Hi friends, I'm Parwaze and in this video I'm going to show you that how you can build chatbot for Twitter. Now before starting our main topic about building chatbot for Twitter, if you're interested on a complete course on chatbots, then I have a complete course on Udemy. So I have added the link in the video description and they're different for this uh, course, so fundamental concepts and uh, workflow on chatbots, simple appointment scheduler chatbot, chatbot integration with different, for example, with different platforms like Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp and Twilio, Twitter, Slack, uh, Communicate, React.js website, Vue.js website and Wix websites. Also, we are talking about reach responses and after that we are building a simple restaurant chatbot. After that, we want to build a backend REST API using Python for the chatbot. And also, we are going to learn about Firebase integration for chatbot and also cryptocurrency finder chatbot. And at the end, we are talking about human handoff project. So if you're interested, I have added the link in the video description. You can just join this course. Now, in this video, we want to learn that how you can integrate your chatbot with Twitter. So now let's open our dialogue flow console. So now this is our dialog flow uh, console. Now I have created a new project at the name of Twitter integration and also uh, make sure that you have enabled the billing account for your this project. So you can enable the billing account from your GCP console or Google Cloud console or you can just go to the fulfillment and from here you can just if you enable this there will be a pop-up and it will say that enable uh, your billing account and you can just click on that and it will automatically enable your billing account. So I have already enabled my billing account for this project and after doing that uh, we need to just go to the intent. Let me just create an intent in here. Uh, so let me just say book table. I'm going to just create a simple intent uh, for this integration so for example let me add a training phrase I want to book a table for tomorrow and now I can just say then I have booked the table for dollar date time and let's save this and if I say I want to book a table for tomorrow and you can see I have booked table for this date also we can just enable the small talk for our this agent so you can just enable that from here so I have already enabled you can just click on that and now this is enabled so after doing that let's just create our uh, let me just go to the settings of this project we need to create a service key so I can just go to the Twitter integration and from here uh, we can just go to the so API and API and services credentials And from here, we can just uh, manage service account. And we can just click on service account. Let's just say, for example, Twitter service. Let me just call it like this. Create and continue. And select a role. So I want it should be an owner. And click on continue done so now this is created let's click on this and now we need to create a key add key create new key make sure it's json click on create now it's created also it's downloaded so this is the key okay now after doing that also uh, you need to open your twitter uh, you can just go to the go to more uh, settings and privacy and from here you can just go to the privacy and setting uh, direct messages make sure that uh, this is enabled by default it's disabled but you can do allow message requests from everyone and uh, 
yeah I think yeah so now after doing this let's just go to the integration and from here we can just click on Twitter so you can see you can see that it's related to the open source so we need to do some setups and let me also open the main readme okay so now the first thing is that you need to set up uh, gcloud cli and i have showed you in the previous video uh, when we are integrating with whatsapp so let me just show you that again so you can uh, okay so you can just go to the uh, documentation page and cloud console uh, uh, cloud con google console sdk and let me just click on this and from here you can just download cloud sdk installer and you can uh, you need to just install that so after that you can open the Google Cloud Shell like this so you can use Google Cloud Shell or you can use any common prompt when you have installed uh, uh, Google Cloud SDK you can use any common prompt for that so now in the Google Cloud Shell for example if you're using this we can just say G Cloud in it because first you need to uh, select your project which project you want to use <clears throat> so right now you can see that I'm using Twitter integration so I've already chosen the project but for example if there was another project or if you have multiple projects projects you can just uh, hit one and after that uh, so now let's just do it it will list uh, list our all projects and uh, so choose your account I'm choosing my this account so if you want to log in as a, okay now you can see that we have our different projects and from here we are using Twitter integration you can just choose uh, the project you want so now uh, if I say G cloud in it and you will see that uh, uh, the Twitter integration is chosen so now you, like this you can choose a project so now after doing that now let's just uh, go to the uh, the integration process so now this is dialog flow integration twitter and so the first thing is that you need to create an app in twitter so log into your twitter developer account and uh, uh, you can let me just click on this and from there by clicking on your username you can just click your uh, create your app so i already have created so you can just see you can click on the new project and from here you can just create your app so i have already created an app so i don't want to create another app it's the dialogue flow demo app but you can use uh, uh, just you can click on the new project and you can click on your app you can give a name or if you want to add an icon also you can add an icon for your app okay so this was the first step that you need to create your app okay so now another step is that uh, you need to download the let me just go to the readme the integration files so that is a zip file so the log flow integration so you can see that we have Twitter also in here as we have already done with whatsapp so you can just uh, you can just clone this or you can download the zip so I have already downloaded the zip and uh, so this is my dialog flow integration also make sure that you copy this uh, Twitter integration uh, key and you need to paste that in the Twitter folder. Let me just paste that in here. So after copying, uh, you can open this uh, folder. So I've opened this in the Visual Studio Code. So we need to work with two files. The first one is Docker file. Now in here, you need to change the integration to Twitter. So after that you need to open uh, the Twitter folder and we have server.js uh, and in here you need some information. Now the first thing is the Twitter API key. You can get uh, the Twitter API key, secret key, access token from the Twitter app. So now uh, let's just go to the Twitter developer and in here you can see that we have keys and token also make sure that when you're creating app you need to in the app permissions 
you need to just make this read and write and direct messages you need to just uh, check this and uh, you can save this now let's click on keys and tokens now in the first one let's just regenerate this and yes regenerate okay so now we have our api key and also we have api key secret so let me just copy this and first i need to just add my api key in here and after that i need to add my api secret so api key secret let me just copy and paste it in here now we need the access token and secret access token so we can get that from here regenerate yes and let me just copy the access token uh, so this is my twitter access token let me paste it in here and i have twitter secret access token and i can just copy that from here and let's add that in this section now we have a target url uh, we are not going to touch uh, touch this for right now but we need to add our project id so we can just go to the settings and from here we can just choose our this project id and let's change this to this okay so now let's check uh, let me just save this okay so we have created the app and uh, we have added uh, we have given the permission so read write and direct messages for the app after that we have copied the api key secret and also access token uh, so now we need to create a dev environment so now we can just go to the uh, account or products yeah and here we have dev environments let's click on this and from here we need to just uh, click on account activity api and you can just give a name so my dev env for example or we can just say my dev app and make sure that uh, you uh, remember this name after that you need to choose your app so dialog for demo app complete setup so now uh unique per okay so i think i have created that let me just say my env app let's select this create complete setup okay so now it's created and you can see we have my env app now let's copy this and add this in the environment name So now the setup is done twitter api key secret api access token secret access token target url project id environment name and also we have our this package dot this integration dot json okay so now after doing that uh, let's check that what we can do now so now it's time for the deployment so first you need to use this gcloud build submit and here you need to add your project id so you can just get that from here and after that in the dialog flow change the platform to twitter so now let me just uh, and here i have commented this so now you can see that in here i have used my project id and that's twitter integration and after that uh, after dialog flow in the platform you need to just give the or yeah this is the second comment now this is the first one so gcloud build submit now first you need to just uh, run this and then here uh, first you need to give the your project id and that's uh, twitter integration and you can get that from here and also for the platform you need to change that to twitter okay so now let's just uh, first we need to go to this uh, dialog flow integration and now let's just copy this copy 
and paste this in here and hit enter. So now let's just wait for this. So now you can see that we're receiving that we need to enable Google Cloud Build Google APIs for this project and we can just say why. It means yes. And now it's enabling the service. So now after doing that, uh, let's just see. Now we need to do this, G Cloud Beta Run Deploy. You need to change the project ID, uh, the platform to Twitter, and also in here, in Google application credentials, you need to add your key file. In here, make sure that you add the name, not path. So you can see your key file with the name, not path of your service account JSON key file. So now let's just do this. So you can see that in here, uh, you can see that in this section, I have changed the project name to Twitter integration. And after that, I have uh, the uh, platform to Twitter and you can see in the google application credentials this is the file name that i have already added in here the json file and i have created so you need to add the name in here and let me just copy this now we can just paste it in here hit enter so now you can choose the service name, hit enter because it's choosing dialog for Twitter. And now we uh, need to just say why. Let's just wait. So now we need to choose 23 US Central and, and allow unauthenticated yes. And let's just wait. So now it is done and also we have a service URL in here. Now let's check that what's the another step. Okay, we have done this. And after doing that, you can see take the value uh, for the service URL, print it in the console after the completion of the execution of the above command and replace the value for the, with the target URL in server.js. And after that, we deployed integration with the updated changed change by rerunning the above two comments. So now we can just copy this, the service URL. And we can just open again our server.js. Now we need to change our target URL. So like this, okay? Now let's just save this. And after that, we need to just run the comments again. So first we need to just run this. gcloud build submit. And now we need to run this uh, comment again. So this gcloud beta run deploy. Hit enter. So service name Twitter. And uh, yes. And we need to choose uh, 23. Okay, now I think we are done and you can see that this is the same as this again. Yeah. And uh, let's just check. Now I'm going to open another Twitter. So uh, first let me just go to the message, start new conversation. So let me just... So now if I say hi, so you can see, greeting, how I can assist you. I want to book a table for tomorrow. You can see, done. I have booked the table for this day. Now also I have enabled the small talk. So if I say thank you, thank you. 
so you can see anytime that is what I'm here for you and if I say for example you you are awesome thanks I try and if I say you are bad now these are the small talks so I have enabled for the project so I must be missing some knowledge I will have my developer look into this so now if I say something that's not and now you can see I missed what you said and what was that so now let's just do this uh, using the uh, let me just go to the home so now if I in here if I say hi or for example hello let me or first I need to just say at p uh, if I say hello and in the notification I should see so let me just do this once more time it shouldn't work so I want to book a table for today and let's just do it so your tweet was sent okay now you can see that I have a notification in here and if I click on the notification you can see done I have booked the table for this date you can see that this is the uh, time now also it will block the uh, for example if I go to here uh, you can see that it's telling that Twitter will block and duplicate tweets so your Twitter bot may be prevented from retweeting a person so by this reason I have uh, we have uh, now it is working and so if I go home and right now uh, for example if I say uh, let me first find this and if I say thank you thank you and tweet so now it will take a little bit I think And now you can see that I have received the notification. If I click on this, uh, you can see at the top anytime that what I am here for. So you can see 34 seconds. So like this, you can integrate Twitter uh, with Dialogflow.